We're starting with the news out of YouTube, and they put out a big update on the 10th of August 2023 surrounding links on short-form content. And if you've been following videos on YouTube at all over the past couple of days, the big headline is, YouTube is making links unclickable. YouTube is taking away your links. You cannot post links on YouTube anymore. Partially, that is true. But if you are just basing your opinion and your thought on the headlines, you are going to be sorely misunderstood. Misunderstood? You're going to be misinformed. That's the better way to put it. Here's what's actually happening. Only links that are in shorts descriptions and comments, as well as the social media banner links that are on your channel page, will be unclickable. And they're stating they're doing this to fight a bunch of scammers and spammers from taking advantage of viewers. However, they are rolling out a few new features over the coming month, which should offset some of the lost functionality here, but not all of it. And we will discuss what is still going to be underserved or what functionality is going to be lost and what creators are likely to be harmed here. But the first new feature is prominent clickable links on the channel page. This rolls out on the 23rd of August, 2023, and it seems to me to completely replace the prior social media clickable link feature. I really don't understand what's different here. Perhaps they're requiring a little bit more verification for links to be in the prominent clickable links section, but you shouldn't really be losing any kind of functionality here. The second one is on shorts. They're allowing you to officially link a short to other content on YouTube. The way that I understand this working is up on screen while a short is playing, there will be a link to another video on YouTube. So you could link to another one of your shorts to create a longer view session. You could create a link to one of your long form videos to try to convert that short viewer into a subscriber. You could do any number of things. And I imagine this will be a lot more effective than the prior method. My understanding of that was, hey, I'll leave a link in the comments and the description. And on shorts, it was never really easy to get to that. I had people say, hey, how the heck do you even get to the description on shorts? Or I would reference, hey, there's a link or the settings are in the description. And people would then leave a comment. I didn't even realize there were descriptions on shorts. So I imagine this will be a lot more effective. But I also want to point out who is getting the S end of the stick here with this new policy where you can't link in the description or comments of a short. That will be people who rely on affiliate links on their short form content. If you do audio reviews, if you do tech reviews, and you do affiliate links in the description and comments to try to earn revenue. Sorry. You are out of luck here. It doesn't seem like there's any workaround for you short, no pun intended, of driving people from your short form video to a long form video. And in the long form video, you have the affiliate links. Other than that, I don't see a workaround here. So currently, you're out of luck. And I'm a little bit concerned here because if they're killing linking on short form content, how long until they kill linking on long form content to stop the scammers and spammers? The reason I'm worried, podcastage relies heavily on affiliate marketing, although that has been tanking over the last year and a half. So pretty soon I'll be earning zero dollars anyway. But if they kill linking on long form content, the entire tech space, it would be <laughs> It would be worse than the ad apocalypse for tech YouTubers. Channels would disappear overnight. Only a select few would remain and it would be the ones who just do it because they love it. It would be a wild thing to happen. But if they're doing it for shorts, who knows? Maybe long form is next. They also mentioned in the blog post, which by the way, I will link it in the episode notes and description in case you want to read up a little bit more, that they have been focusing on reducing comment spam. Thank God for that. They desperately needed to. And the first thing they brag about is reducing impersonation across YouTube. If you don't know what this is in reference to for quite a while, 
there have been scammers and spammers who would copy a channel's profile picture and the username put a telegram number and then reply to every single comment on a video. And they would say, hey, you won something. Contact us on Telegram. And when they got somebody on Telegram, they would say, here's a photo of what you won. And they would try to get shipping money out of the individual and then they would not send anything. So it was just a scam to get money out of people. And I don't want to jinx it. So knock on wood. I have not seen any podcastage impersonators for maybe three months. So it seems as though YouTube has done something very effectively here. I am going to do this because I believe in giving props when it is due. YouTube, well done. Congratulations. This was a plague on your platform and it was giving your platform as well as creators a very bad name. So thank you very much for finally finding a way to resolve this. It is very much appreciated. Thank you so much. The second thing they mentioned is more powerful comment moderation. They state that they have been improving the increase strictness feature in their comment moderation tools. I don't really use that. I don't look at the held for review section that much. My channel, again, knock on wood, is pretty tame. There aren't many comments that get held for moderation other than people saying, hey, you're an effing idiot. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. I don't care. But that's pretty much it. So the whole hiding links thing isn't as bad as you may have been led to believe by some of the titles and the headlines and the thumbnails, but it can be detrimental for the tech shorts creators because, yeah, you're not going to be able to have affiliate links anymore. Those are dead. So you will have to create shorts that drive people to long form content. And on the long form content, that's where you have your links. That's just the way it goes. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Sorry, bearer of bad news. Don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot anybody. <laughs> I think that's a good I think that's a good thing. I think that's a good message to end on. Don't shoot anybody. Okay. <laughs> Goodness gracious. How do we get there? Okay.